Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 11th of 2021. Well, it is titled postcard from the South Pole. So what do we see here? Well, here we see very close to the South Pole. In fact, within a mile of the geographic South Pole, we see a couple of telescopes, the South Polar Telescope on the left and the Bicep Telescope on the right. And you can see in the middle between those several of the scientists and people working on these telescopes standing with their arms raised. And up above in the sky, we see a number of images of our sun. Now images of the sun here were taken about every four minutes gives you an idea about how far the sun can move in such a short period of time. Now, so the sun does move relatively quickly through the sky. Now you'll notice as you look at the images that you'll have the sun fully illuminated and then partially being blocked out. So what we're seeing are the different stages of a partial solar eclipse that occurred on December the 4th. Now it was a total solar eclipse from certain areas, but you have to be in the right area. Other parts of Antarctica were able to see the entire sun as eclipsed. But from very close to the South Pole, it was only at about 90% at maximum in the middle here, where you see that bottom section of sunlight still shining through. Now, as the sun, the moon moves in front of the sun, that's what we're seeing is the moon moves through moves through the sky, it over can overtake the sun and passes it. And if it happens to be lined up just right, and that alignment can occur a couple of times a year, then it will pass directly in front of the sun and block out its light. So we will see an eclipse like this. Now it does not occur every single time, because the orbit of the moon is tilted relative to the orbit of the sun and Earth. Now what that means is that the they're in a different plane and that only when there a node occurs, and that would be when the Earth, Moon and Sun are all lined up. Those are the only times that an eclipse can occur. We need all three objects lined up. So if the moon is either above or below the sun in the sky, then we will not get an eclipse. And that's what happens most of the time when we get a full or new moon. Most new moons, we do not get a solar eclipse, but we happen to have one here where everything was lined up perfectly. And most full moons, we do not get a lunar eclipse, although we had a lunar eclipse just a couple of weeks before this. And we do see that eclipses come in seasons like this. They come together and sometimes just a couple of weeks apart, we can get a solar and a lunar eclipse at different points in the world. And that's because this is the time of year when they happen to be lined up. So after this, we can wait a while and it'll be likely six months uh, into May and June when we will have next year when we will begin to see eclipses again. So here we've had a chance over the last last month or so to see both a, images of a lunar eclipse and many eclipse I, images of a solar eclipse that we've seen as well. So that was our picture of the day for December 11th of 2021. It was titled Postcard from the South Pole. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be in darker skies. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.